Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So near the end of last year, I posted a video that we are expecting to see the fifth wave of new features, referred to as the Moment 5 feature update, rolling out as early as this year, the end of February 2024. And I posted quite a long video on more or less what to expect. And if you'd like to play catch up, I'll leave that video down below in the description. Now, the reason I'm mentioning Moment 5 is because it seems that um, with the announcement of Dell's new XPS range of laptops, they have possibly made a mistake when it comes to um, an error where they have referred to the Moment 5 feature update as Windows 11 version 24H1. So if we head over to an image taken from that announcement regarding their new XPS uh, laptop range, um, yeah, we can see at the bottom in the small print. Now, I hope you can actually see that clear enough in the video. It says Wi-Fi 7 capability, which is a new feature rolling out, requires Windows 11 version 24H1, which is not available until April for download and August for factory install. Now, over and above Wi-Fi 7 rolling out with their new range of laptops, as I posted last week, uh, the new XPS laptops will also be among the first PCs to have a dedicated Windows Copilot button to launch Copilot. And I'll also leave that video down below if you'd like to play catch up because that's causing quite a lot of debate in certain circles. But nonetheless, getting back to the actual announcement where this is possibly a error is because with Microsoft, as I mentioned back near the end of 2021, Microsoft announced back then that they would only be releasing one feature update per year for Windows 10 and Windows 11 going forward. And as far as um, I know and sources know and a lot of um, mainstream media outlets know, Microsoft hasn't changed that. Where they said they would release one feature update per year as in 22H2, 23H2, 24H2, just to mention some examples. And then all the other little feature updates would roll out as moment updates. And we also know, though, that Microsoft does keep things a little bit under the hood when it comes to announcing feature updates. And at this stage, though, um, if Microsoft is going to follow that rollout phase of one feature update per year, I think that um, Dell has made a mistake referring to the moment five year as version 24H2, where they are stating here that the new Windows 11 version won't be available for download until April 2024 and factory install um, on those laptops until August 2024. Now, that's important because, um, as I've mentioned, Microsoft uh, could possibly start rolling out the Moment 5 feature update as soon as the end of February this year if you have this toggle turned on uh, in and on your Windows update page and you are running Windows 11 version 23H2. And if you don't have this toggle turned on, then by April, that moment 5, which Dell is referring to as 24H1, will roll out by default to all Windows 11 devices. So that's what they mean in there. And what they're talking about here when it comes to the... Um, and uh, which is not available until April 2024 for download and August 2024 for factory install. What they could be referring to there is that that could possibly be the 24H2 feature update. And ba basically at the end of the day, it seems that Dell has just made an error here and has mixed up the upcoming Moment 5 update with the next feature update for Windows 11. And as mentioned, Microsoft plans to release Moment 5 in February Two early testers like myself and most who have this toggle turned on. And if not, it will roll out uh, in April. And what they're referring to here with their Dell laptops for August of 2024 could possibly be the 24H2 feature update that will be released in the second half of this year, 2024. And of course, to throw in the mix here, we've also got a possible Windows 12 that could be rolling out. And I'll leave a playlist for that in the end screen of this video. I don't want to get too much into Windows 12 in this video. But if you want more info, go check out that playlist. So as mentioned, I think there's a very slim chance that Microsoft will revert back to their old update schedule where they will release 
two feature updates per year as an example 24h1 and 24h2 and i think the chances are very slim and yeah i feel that dell has made a mistake and referred to the moment 5 as 24h1 but as i say kind of tongue-in-cheek as i always say on the channel with microsoft only time will tell and obviously if there is a possible 24h1 feature update rolling out and that is something that dell knows that we don't know then obviously as soon as I get wind of any more info, I'll post and keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.